The name Expeditions, a Mudrunner game, was very recently trademarked by the developers of SnowRunner, and I made a video on this, and y'all voiced a lot of your opinions loud and clear in the comments, and I'm actually really interested in a lot of them, and so in this video, we're going to be going through y'all's opinions and continuing the conversation surrounding what could very well be the next game in the series, Expeditions. And before we get into reading these comments and talking about them, I do want to let y'all know that the truck and map that I am using in this video will be available in the description box down below. The truck is PC only, the map is on PC and consoles, and with that out of the way, let's dive into some comments, both positive and negative and in the middle. And of course, as I read through these comments, let me know in the comments down below on this video if you agree or disagree or you're kind of in the middle about any of the topics that we went over. But with that being said, we're going to start off with a comment from Dr. Jekyll 51 where they said, I'm curious where they're going with the series. I'll wait till we get more info before passing judgment like some others already are, but I'd love to see better physics, better road grip. I'm tired of being on a road and it feels like a sheet of ice even when I have tire chains on. The ability to get out of the trucks would be nice too, like we cannon farming simulator and definitely nerf the dang rocks i'm not upset that a new one is in the works it's about time for another to start ramping up now someone actually replied to that comment and said i just don't want as much repetition and dr jekyll 51 continued that thread by saying i want to add this to my list as well i love snowrunner but you're right it definitely can feel repetitive after a while and i will agree with that snowrunner definitely can get to a point where you feel like you're doing the same things just in different environments with like slightly altered um task frameworks but it's it kind of still feels like the same thing so there was another comment that was really interesting and they said uh i would love support for tracked vehicles since spin tires was the only game that featured that in the community as well as maybe tire inflation and deflation dynamics now i want to clear something up here uh tracked vehicles never really worked worked um even in spin tires uh they were always kind of they were always kind of buggy and they never really worked the way real tracked vehicles would work like the idea was there but it was never fully fully realized um but it would be really cool to see them do although it's something that i don't know if they would spend a bunch of time and resources on and inflation and deflation of tires that's another subject where would I love to see it? Absolutely. But I think it would require a little bit more of an overhaul of the physics system than they might be comfortable with. But we'll have to wait and see on that one. Now, let's see. Another comment from Black Rogue Dreams reads, The name suggests to me that they are moving from a hauling focus to a more overlanding and trailing focus. But here's the thing about that. I think we need to have a balance of the two. Because SnowRunner's player base is very split on this. You will have people that will say... I only play this game for trail riding and rock crawling, and you'll have other people that will say, I only play this game for hauling and delivery type gameplay, and so I think it's deeply important that they keep both of those aspects, but that they also deepen their, uh, de like, deepen the... Um, focus on both of them, and I know that that's kind of hard to do because you're kind of splitting your focus anyway, um, but the cool thing about that is, let's say they made the physics a little bit better, especially for, like, trail riding and rock grip and stuff like that, that also makes the delivery gameplay better. You know what I mean? So, I think that if they improve the physics in the trail riding area, it will also have a positive carryover effect for the hauling. And because you see another comment that replied to that one saying, I hate the popularity of overlanding in this game. I need missions. So there's always a, and I'm paraphrasing, that comment itself was a lot longer, but just to kind of paraphrase it, that's, that's the kind of, you know, back and forth that you see about this topic. So I think it's very important that they focus on improving all of those dynamics now let's see uh, another comment says this one's from martin baker 1609 i hope that they give us the option of having winches on both ends of the truck this would be helpful when you're towing something and you get stuck snowrunner is really the only game i've been playing though and i don't think it would be a bad name for an upcoming game obviously referencing the name expeditions now someone else in the comments said they could call it scout runner i mean that'd be a neat name but it would be 
I don't know, it would be interesting to deviate from having Runner in the main title of the game, but I think as long as they say, you know, Expedition's a Mud Runner game, then they'll be okay, because people will still recognize it as an entry in the Runner series. Now, let's see, Night Fury, uh, let's see, Night Fury 7321 says, in my opinion, with all of the highway trucks that they put in both Mud Runner and Snow Runner being practically useless, this game would be the perfect place to finally give them some use. Move away from the slippery physics of asphalt and give a more generalized environment for all types of trucks that would essentially make all of them useful. I would think that it would be a mix of American and Euro truck sims, more urban deliveries like construction equipment and car trailers, and mud and snow runners difficult terrain, and more rural areas like we've seen in the past with the forests of Mud Runner and the snowy mountains of Alaska in Snow Runner. And I think they're onto something there. I don't like how the highway trucks get shoved to the side. They're in the game, and you are encouraged to use them. They give you upgrades for these trucks. They give you new paint jobs for these trucks. And they're like, oh, here's this, here's this, here's this. And I'm like, but it's useless because the pavement fit. Well, it's not useless, but that's it's more of my, uh, let's call it my emotional response to that because, you know, the way that they treat the highway trucks makes me upset. It really does because it's like you get them out on the, on the pavement and they slip and slide around on a dry surface as though it's covered in ice. And, you know, you can argue with that all you want as far as like, you know, because I know there are people out there that are going to say, well, if they made the pavement more grippy and they allowed you to go faster on pavement, it would ruin the game balance and you'd be able to get through the map too fast and you need to slow down when you're driving and blah, 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 blah. But here's the thing, like your truck in real life does not all of a sudden start sliding around like it's on an ice rink the moment you get to like 45 miles an hour. That's just not how real world driving works. And again, I know some people say that having those physics is like necessary for game balance and it would make, you know, it would make it so you could drive through the maps too fast if you didn't have the sliding. But it's one of those things where I disagree. Um, I disagree heavily. And there's nothing wrong with the fact that I disagree heavily. We can discuss back and forth in the comments whether or not that is necessary to keep. But I personally would like to see that go. Now, let's talk about another type of comment that I've been getting. Let's see. So this one is this one is actually interesting and it's from Blue Dooley 4x4 and they said probably done with the series after SnowRunner seen some PC players trying to get in a multiplayer game going and it was a 20 or 30 minute fiasco I have personally experienced that the vehicles handle poorly no matter the terrain tire chains would absolutely help you in mud in the real world but they don't help you in SnowRunner and the fact that they couldn't be bothered to ask how many liters or gallons of fuel the licensed trucks can actually hold the ability abysmal fuel economy to just artificially make the game more challenging in the least fun way possible. Most of the tasks aren't challenging in a fun way, just in a tedious way, and each new area gets more tedious than the last. It's like, okay, I get where you're coming from. I 100% get where you're coming from. They also go on to say the maps need more life, like NPCs, wildlife, um, and without them, the in-game worlds kind of feel dead. The vehicles need better everything, better handling, better physics, better fuel economy, or just get rid of it all entirely um, and more suspension detail as well. So again, I know that that was a lot to go through, a lot to go into, but I think they're definitely on to something there. And I think they have a lot of genuinely valid criticisms, like super, super valid. Another one is from, let's see, The Mean Bean 8787. And they said, definitely looking forward to the new game. Some things I would personally like to see for the game would be more in-depth upgrades and customizations, such as engine part upgrades, maybe even a fine-tuning system similar to Forza's. I don't know if we'll get that deep, but it would be kind of cool to see. Um, also, they said they want to see an ability to set difficulties to certain aspects of the game. For example, core task difficulty, easy, normal, and hard, could change how lengthy cargo delivery missions are. Oh, that's an interesting way to go about that. Um, there could also be like map difficulty settings, and oh, that'd be really cool. That'd be really, really cool. That's a really long comment, and I'm going to read it personally. I'm just not going to read it all the way out in this video, um, but it's definitely an interesting take. I'm, I'm actually very intrigued by that. That's a cool idea. Now, this next comment kind of highlights a point of the um, sort of the different sides of the community that 
play and enjoy this game, and I'll read it out to y'all, and y'all will uh, understand what I'm saying. Now, let's see. Where is it? I need to make sure I didn't lose the comment. There we go. Um, it's from Shadow Wolf 21 Wolf with a V, not an F, and they said as long as they don't move away from what makes Mudrunner Mudrunner, i.e. big trucks delivering cargo, the game could be set literally anywhere in the world, and I would still buy it. The moment they turn it into just a trail riding simulator will be the moment I swear off the studio for good. Wow, that's a lot to unpack. Um, that's, um... That's pretty wild. And to be fair, again, I get where you're coming from. If that is the if that is the thing that you play the game for, I get it because there are a lot of people that that is what they play the game for, but I think there needs to be there needs to be a balance of both because there are a lot of people that play the game as a trail riding simulator. I mean, if you look at Mod IO right now, literally as I am filming this video, and you look at the highest trending mods on the mod browser, the, the it's literally the current highest trending mod with like what 1.1 million downloads right now is a console friendly version of a nissan patrol that you can build into a trail rig you know i mean there's some of the most popular mods are all tra like trail riding mods you have a a nissan patrol a ford super duty a troopy um a lifted duramax a a can-am utv a dodge ram dually you know these are all vehicles that are on the first page of like trending in the mod browser and so I think it's definitely important that we keep an eye on what all sides of the community really want but with all of that being said and done I know I didn't get to every single comment on that video I mean that would take that would be like a massively long video to do but if I didn't get to your comment hopefully I will be able to get to it in either the near future or maybe in this video if I didn't get to it in that video and let me know any and all of your thoughts and opinions regard like regarding anything we talked about in this video by the way because y'all's opinions are actually one of the biggest things that push a series like this forward because you know they 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 listen to us you know and or at least we would hope that they listen to us and i really do hope that they listen to their community in regards to the next game because i think snowrunner was a wonderful game but as a community i think we've all had some valid criticisms of you know some things that they chose to do but with that i'm going to close this video out here and if y'all enjoyed and want to see more make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn those notifications on and i will see y'all next time